Hi everyone, this is Diane from the Picket Fence Greenhouse and Gardens. You can find me on my gardening blog at picketfencegreenhouse.info. Today we're going to talk about collecting seeds from hostas. How many of you have done this? Well, this last spring I went and I purchased some hosta seed and I planted them. And they didn't do too bad. I was actually pretty pleased. I'm going to show you and we're going to go outside in my little greenhouse and I'm going to show you some of these little hostas I've grown from seed. And then we're going to go out and harvest some hosta seeds out in my hosta, hosta woodland garden. So let's get going. Alright, so here's that little baby hostas that I started this spring from seed. As you can see, I have a bunch of them. Um, some made it, some didn't, but you know, the majority of them did and they are getting a pretty nice size. We got some variegated ones, gold ones, green ones, and you know these are young but we get them through this winter and then next year they should do really well. So I just kind of wanted to show you. Alright, we're going to do some collecting of hosta seeds today. It's a little breezy out so I hope you can hear me but I, you're going to want to get, you're going to want to have something to put your hosta seeds in. I'm just going to, for this demonstration I'm just going to use some envelopes seeds also they need to be the seed pods need to be dry or turning brown and some of the pods will probably be open already just like I'm seeing today but I'm gonna cut off some pods I'm actually gonna cut those stem and all okay here's a bunch of stems and there's some little black seeds and I'm gonna show them to you close up here in a minute these are ready to be stored, or actually, I'm probably going to let them dry in the house a little bit more. So, but those I'm going to put in this bag just to make it easy. And then I'm going to show you here's a stem, pasta stem right here that's got some huge pods right here. Now, these are pretty green yet. Um, you should probably leave them left on the plant until they start turning a little more brown and then you can start to see them split. But these are really nice pods and the seeds, they're going to be really nice seeds. And one thing I want to tell you about hosta seeds is they do not come true to the parent plant. You're going to get different colors. You're going to get golds and greens and blues, sometimes variegated, um, a little harder to get the variegated uh, seeds or plants. but. But what's fun about it's just fun to collect them and to grow your own hostas. It's not that hard. So what I'll do with these now is I'll take them inside and just make sure they're good and dry and then put them, store them in an envelope or a baggie. Baggie works good too. And then next spring I'll probably plant them and see what germinates. You're going to want to probably, you're going to want to get as many seeds as you can because they're not all going to germinate. So have fun collecting your hosta seeds. And October is a good time to do it. Make sure your, like I said, make sure your pods are turning brown, and they look. Some are going to be starting to open, and you can snip them stems off, put them in a bag, and label them if you want. But like I said, they do not come true to the parent plant. Okay, now that I got the pods inside, I wanted to put them on a plate to show you what they look like. They are black and flat. Okay, a little fragile too, so be careful with them. Um, once you pull them out of the pods, just let them sit here and let them dry a little bit longer and then store them in a cool, dry place. You guys, you guys and gals have fun collecting your hosta seeds. You'll, you'll really enjoy it. So you guys visit my gardening blog at pickfencegreenhouse.info and we'll see you on the next one.